Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today's builder is a unique one. Unique one by herself, unique one by her family, and unique one by the uniqueness that Allah chose her for. So who is she? Sayyida Hafsa, the daughter of Sayyidina Umar. May Allah be pleased with them both. She, of course, grew up in Mecca in a noble family. And she became a Muslim before her father. She was married before Rasul and her husband, Khunais, was actually killed at the Battle of Badr. At age 21, she became a widow. Now the father, Sayyidina Umar, who now is a Muslim, and one of the closest people to Rasul worried about his daughter, like any father, and he wanted her to get married again. It's very common in that day and age. So, who he wants her to marry other than one of the companions? So he approached Sayyidina Uthman, and Sayyidina Uthman didn't answer. He approached Sayyidina Ali, and Sayyidina Ali didn't answer. And Sayyidina Umar, of course, was not happy. So he went to Rasul showing his unhappiness, the fact that two of his friends and companion doesn't want to marry his daughter. And our beloved Rasul made him feel much better by saying the following, Hafsa will marry better than Uthman and Ali. And Uthman will marry better than Hafsa. And what happened? Rasul married Sayyidina Hafsa, which for sure he is better than Sayyidina Uthman. And Sayyidina Uthman married the daughter of Rasul Salatu Kalthum, which is for sure better than Hafsa. What was unique about Sayyidina Hafsa? She was well known for her legendary acts of worship. She used to stand hours in Salah. That's one. She was an excellent writer. She actually, one of the wives of Rasul who knew how to read and write. She was very smart, very sharp. Some describe her like her father. She memorized the whole Quran. One of the few Sahabiyat who memorized the Quran. The uniqueness of her, that she was so trustworthy that Sayyidina Abu Bakr kept the only copy of the Qur'an with her and stayed with her till the time of Sayyidina Uthman where he decided that now it's the time to make more than one copy of the Qur'an and send it to the other countries. He asked for that copy from Sayyidina Hafsa and asked her permission. She gave it to him. He called the writers, and they called them Kutabul Wahi, the writers of the revelation, and they wrote the copies, all based upon the copy that Sayyidah Hafsa had. As expected, when you have women together, there has to be a jealousy somehow in between them. Rasul was very well known to, to love Sayyidah Aisha more than any of his wives. So Sayyidah Hafsa, being the daughter of Sayyidina Umar, felt it. So Sayyidina Umar, entered on his daughter and said the following to her, Ya Bunaya, my little daughter, my beautiful daughter, don't be misled by the one who has, Rasul has more love to her, the meaning of remember who are you and what you have. Then Sayyidina Umar went and told the Rasul this. And Rasul just smiled, tells you, even when you are at the highest level of piety, close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as a woman, we are human being. We have these feelings. And fathers and husbands feel that. And what they need to do is, ju is just to make them feel better and accept these feelings. In the beginning, this is the daughter of Sayyidina Abu Bakr. This is the daughter of Sayyidina Umar. I'm referring to Sayyidina Aisha and Sayyidina Hafsa. So in the beginning, there was a lot of jealousy between them. It's even described as fierce jealousy. But then as 
Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam married other wives, they actually became very close. There were much more common things between them than the opposite. The main thing that joined them both is their piety and their love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of course the love to Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam. As they became more friends, they also shared the acts of worship. And this is very interesting narration that a Rasul entered and he found a Sayyidah Aisha and a Sayyidah Hafsa together. And Sayyidah Hafsa spoke first. And this narration is by Sayyidah Aisha. And she was saying, Sayyidah Hafsa spoke before me. And she said, Ya Rasulullah, me and Aisha woke up with the intention of fasting. However, a food was given to us as a gift. And we broke our fast because the food was given to us as a gift. And the Rasul والسلام, said to them, that's okay. Sent to her, actually. That's okay. Just make it up later. Now, this is not an obligation, but this is a narration tells you, number one, they joined together in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Both of them in their eagerness to follow what the Rasul والسلام, say and seek his opinion. Since their life of her, may Allah be pleased with her, is very rich. We will continue tomorrow.